Hello, my name is Giles Mooney. I'm one of the directors of Absolute Accounting Software. A lot of people associate us with the Excel VAT filer, which is a bridging software product that allows people to do their VAT returns uh, with the revenue software, despite the fact they don't have end-to-end -end bookkeeping software themselves. They have decided to keep using Excel, perhaps, or they've decided to keep using their own specific in-house software, which then produces an Excel file, which allows you then to use bridging software for VAT. But the reason I'm talking to you today is because we have now developed our MTD for income tax software. This will work in a very similar way, uh, allowing you to keep using Excel for your books and records and then use bridging software to file what is going to be required from 2024 for most people, which is for landlords, for the self-employed, filing data quarterly to the revenue detailing your income and your expenses. Our product is a very simple idea and allows you to keep using what you were using already without needing to move to full end-to-end -end bookkeeping software. You will be able to get data back from the revenue, you'll know it's been filed successfully, you'll know everything that you need to know and meet all of the requirements without having to change the way you've been doing it for many years quite happily. The best way to understand the software is to have a look at it. So what I'll do now is hand over to our support team who will take you through the software and how easy it is to use. After that, you'll be able to see some information about how to get further information, who to contact and who to email to show your interest in this particular product. Today, I want to show you how to use the Absolute Excel MTD Income Tax Filer to file quarterly periodic update submissions online to HMRC. It is an Excel-based bridging package designed to link to any existing Excel spreadsheet, so it can be used to link to an Excel file that has been exported from any online system or one that you use to log your transactions manually. When you open up the Excel income tax filer, you will have tabs along the bottom which allow you to submit for any of the income sources that currently fall under Making Tax Digital. At this stage, you will also need to ensure that you've opened up the source document being the Excel spreadsheet that you wish to link to. From here, you would then click on to link cells and it will then open up a box asking you to select the cell with the national insurance number. From here, you would go into your source document. You would click into the national insurance number and click on OK. This information will then fade back across onto the income tax filer. You would then just simply go through each of the other boxes to then link the values across. You do not need to link the business name as this is a cell that will come through when you do the online submission to HMRC. So if I click, for example, into turnover, I can then go into my source document, choose the turnover value, and then I can repeat the process for any other income along with any expenses. When it comes to the submission of expenses, you will be able to file for both full or consolidated expenses. This is controlled by the tick box here. And for example, I could then go through and I could link each of the expenses individually. For the purposes of this demo, I will submit a consolidated submission. Once you've linked all of the cells, you would then click finish at the bottom of the screen. And it is then at this point, you would do the submission online to HMRC. You initially need to get the business information. So this is done by clicking on Give Business and then choosing the option to authorise. The authorisation process grants authority for the income tax filer to submit on behalf of this business for 18 months. When it opens the HMRC website, you just need to simply scroll to the bottom of the first page and click on Continue. And then it will ask you to enter the user ID and password. At this point, you would need to log in either as an agent using the agent services account details, or if you're filing for your own business, you would enter your personal tax account details, and then you would choose to sign in. This will then take you through to a window where you are asked to grant authority, and this is to both view the self-assessment information and change the self-assessment information, and this will then last for 18 months. So you would choose grant authority, and this will then take you to a screen where it shows you that the authorization for the Excel spreadsheet has been successful. 
From here, you would then go back to the income tax filer and you would choose Git Business from HMRC. And this will then pull into the business name, a drop down menu showing you all of the businesses that HMRC currently hold on their record relating to that national insurance number. At this stage, you would then from the drop down menu, select the business ID for the business that you wish to file online. You would check the figures and then if you scroll to the bottom, you can then choose to submit a periodic update online to HMRC. This will open up a confirm screen where you would need to check the values, tick to say that you confirm the tax submission and then you click to submit. This will then take you through to a successful transmission screen. From here, you've got the option to download a receipt and this will then show you the details of what has been transmitted online. And from here, you can print a copy or you can save it for your records. For further information, please email sales at absolutetax.co.uk or alternatively telephone us on 01869 255 797.